Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing sort of a little overview again on the Sonic Model F1, except now I have added FPV into this guy here. So hopefully you can see up top I just put a Foxier, um, just a Foxier right-hand circular polarized antenna, and I sort of just glued it through the hole with a little plastic piece here to get more surface contact, so that was steady there. And then out on the wing here, see if I can get it to show up. We have the FXT, FX, what is this? This is the 877T VTX. Now this guy's pretty cool because it does have an onboard microphone there, as well as the MMCX connector, which works perfect in this um, situation. And we do have um, a bunch of LEDs here to um, show the bands and power level does. It is 40 channels and it does 25, 200, and 600 milliwatts. Over here we have a little button to press there. Um, to change your channels as well as this does have smart audio if you're interested in using that But I don't have a flight controller in here, so I'm just using the button to change it Then we have our outputs here, and I just heat shrunk it and stuck it to the wing and burned a hole through the edge to get the wires to go through If we take a look inside up front, we have a run cam Eagle 2 Pro I'm trying this guy out again. There's just a little cutout here, and it's very well protected in there and the um, lens cannot get hit and it does not show any of the um, foam in the image, which is quite nice, and I basically just ran that um, the VTX hopefully you can see the wiring here I ran that off of the main battery lead so this gets full power and then I ran the 5 volts from the VTX to the camera And I also ran the vSense pin from the camera to the main battery So I do have a voltage OSD on here, so I know when it's time to land and I'm just using um, a 1550 R line in here and then the ESC and prop well not the prop but the ESC and the motor are stock just a 2216 2000 kV on a 6045 prop. For the receiver, I'm using a FreeSky D4R2, actually wired up here in PPM. Or no, this is PWM, <laughs> PWM actually. Um, there's really no reason on a wing, unless you're like super competitive, that you're going to need S Bus. And I find that the range on these guys is just pretty much the best you can get out of FreeSky. There's no reason. I had one laying around, so I just stuck it in there. And for flying it, I'm just using my trusty Tyrannus X90 Plus, no special crossfire or anything. And then for the um, DVR recording, I'll be using my Aonway Commanders with a clear view with a patch and an omnidirectional on it. So yeah, that was just a quick overview of the FPV setup I put on this wing. So let's show you some footage.
All right, so here we are back after that. So once again, the original VTX I had on there was the FX799T, I believe, and wired off a full battery voltage. That just did not cut it. If I went above half throttle, a picture just blacked out. But this guy, this FX7, or FX877T, um, it works flawlessly. Even at full throttle, there's no noise in the video at all. So I'm very impressed with this video transmitter. And on 600 milliwatts, I got at least a half a mile range. This antenna is not very good. I think it actually is broken. I think the ground's broken off. So swapping this antenna would probably get me quite a bit more range, especially since I was using a clear view there. Um, as for the Eagle 2 Pro, I definitely have a new appreciation for it. Um, I had tried it on quads, but just wasn't, I didn't like it. But when you're going slow and just cruising around with a wing, it does really well. However, on a sort of overcast day that I showed you, the footage didn't actually, there was a lot of dark areas, but the settings on this camera are not made for um, the overcast day like that. So that's perfectly acceptable. So yeah, there we go. That was just a quick FPV video of what I did with this wing. It's going to be my main FPV wing just cruising going forward. My only FPV wing. I've broken it a couple times, but nothing hot glue can't fix. So that was in the video. There will be links down below to the video transmitter, the camera, and the plane if you're interested. Please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.